Hi, Shankers. It's R and D. Well, today we've been uh, presented with a set of rods here out of a Renault engine that was actually used in a DeLorean. And the guy wants to go to a little bit more power. Uh, he's going to stroke this thing out a tiny bit. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some H-beam rods and machining them down. They're a little bit wide. These are like 937 wide. We need to go down to 780. And that's one before, and this is one that's after. And just to kind of show you some differences here. And then you see we got to take quite a bit off this one side. And we have to take a little bit more off this side here. Then we're going to cut some chamfers in here and make it all happy. Anyway, we're going to show you how this is done. Alright, well we're going to start by chucking this up. This clears the ways on the machine down here, which it does. I'm going to come and touch off on the part, our tool. I'm going to take our indicator and set it up. Uh, we figured out that we need to take about 120, 121 thousandths off of this one side. We're going to be doing this in 30 thousandths passes. Come and touch off. We'll set our gauge to zero. Back this out, and then we'll move it over about thirty thousandths. Another 30. By using a uh, dial indicator, it makes this job much easier. You don't have to guess about how much you're taking off.
we'll take this uh, up so we got about another 5,000 to take off for a finished cut. So we're about 115,000 right now. If you feel on the inside here, uh, you can feel we've got a pretty substantial burr. So what we're going to do is take and change tool bits. And we've got this one set up to where it's going to be cutting a 45 degree chamfer on there. And you can do that by setting your angle of your tool bit up with a, a couple of angle bars. And it works out pretty slick. chamfer in there and that removes that. It's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. You can see how we've got a nice surface there. Chamfer. this again. Zero this out. We'll measure how much we've got to go here. Alright. Looks of it we've got about Forty thousands to take off. to go. Again, it'll take about 15 in this pass. 
You know, I just want to leave about four or five thousandths to uh, trim on. thousand steel. Now the guy can only buy these sets of rods in a set of eight. And we're gonna go ahead and machine all eight rods up. That way he'll have a couple of spares in case he ever needs one. nice chamfer on this side here. This is the side where the radius is going to be on the crankshaft. Well, make sure you put a fairly generous radius in there. Or chamfer rather. That should do it. And then we have our modified rod to go in our Renault motor, our V6. Anyway, if you have questions about this or need a set of rods done, give me a call here at Coast Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.